Hey folks, today I got a how-to for you. Um, what we're going to be learning how to do is we're going to learn how to etch different symbols into aluminum. This also works for other metals, metals like steel, copper, things like that nature. Anything metal really. This thing here is the mid plate for the DG86 case that I've been working on. The one with the, the green and blue epoxy that I covered it all up in. Um, you can see here, this is the, the for the GPU cables. It's a pass through for them. Pass through for the GPU uh, tubes for the liquid. Uh, the reservoirs are going to go in these holes. Uh, I haven't made them yet, but this is going to be another video. But today we're going to be etching my logo plus the Cyberden Systems text here. And we're going to be doing it with a, I'm going to show you how to do it with a 9 volt battery. This is all you need. You need a 9 volt battery, some Q-tips or cotton swabs, maybe even a sponge. Um, you need some cables with alligator clips on it and salt water. That's it. It's just water with salt mixed all up and together. Basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be saturating one of these with the salt water because that well, water, when you mix it with, the, with the, the salt, it increases its electrical conductivity. And then the 9 volts, this thing has enough, amp, these things have enough amperage. Uh, I forget exactly how many amps they have, but they have enough to pass through it. And then the salt and the water will actually burn the surface of the, uh, the metal. And it's going to leave an impression of this. Uh, now, how long you stay on it, the, lo the, the deeper it will, the burn will be. So doing something using this is great for like small surfaces, like say you're doing like just some, you know, some lettering, but this is a bit much. I'm not going to, I want it to be pretty deep because I'm considering filling it in with some paint and then, you know, cleaning it off. But I also might leave it as just plain etched. I haven't decided yet. We'll see when it's done. Um, so I'm actually going to be using a, a little, little, one of these little lab bench power supplies. You can get it for like 80 bucks on Amazon. They're pretty cheap. You know, and they come with the alligator clips and all that. Let me bring you down a little bit closer and we'll show you a little bit better. Okay, so here we are, real closer. Now, I'm not, since I'm not actually using the 9 volt battery to do this entire thing, but I am going to show you that it works. Uh, I don't, normally you would want to get like a, a cable that has alligator clips on both ends. You can get these entire cables for like a few dollars on Amazon or you can get the alligator clips and the wire and you can have a, you know rolls of wire on you sitting on your shelf ready for use and the alligator clips are cheap but you can also just buy these cables with alligator clips on either end for like really cheap basically what you do is you take your negative connect it to your metal and then your positive just gets connected like that to your q-tip someplace where it's going to be uh, making contact with the water so I'm going to dip this in the water. Now it's all soaking wet. Put the alligator clip, put the alligator clip on it. And now I'm just going to take these and I'm going to hold them onto the battery just because. Okay, so if we get down in here really close, you can see see how it's bubbling. That's the electricity passing through the aluminum, passing through the salt water. And we're basically cooking the surface of the aluminum here. I'm going to go ahead and do this entire S so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so what we can see is right here, you can kind of see it's, it's starting to burn the aluminum. And I just got to keep working my way around. You can kind of see right up there on the edges it's starting to burn. I just got to keep working my way around with that Q-tip and it'll eventually burn this when I peel the vinyl off you can you know it's going to leave the impression of this s in the surface of the aluminum you can go ahead and polish it or just clean it off or whatever you want to do but you can see like right here there's none of that on this and you can you see you can see the difference here that's what we're going for but since this is a large piece I don't have the time to sit here and poke around with the uh, q-tip and 9 volt battery so I'm going to power up the, uh, the lab power supply and I'm going to pump through a lot of amperage to burn it a lot faster and I may even end up uh, building a dam around here to and then filling that with this and then just putting like a like a piece of copper or wire um, across it so that way the, the, the whole thing will get burned all while it's submerged in the water so I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna come back we're gonna peel the vinyl off and see what we got so be back in a bit update 
that was literally taking forever. So I built this dam out of this type of tape. This is the same tape that they use for powder coating. It's very high temp. Uh, that and some hot glue to seal it. And I took this piece of copper wire. It's looped here on this end and it just runs right through. And then I got the ground connected that way. So I'm gonna turn this on and it should start bubbling. On. There we go, look at that. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit though, the voltage. Okay, we're running at about two volts and one amp. You can see that right there. 2.2 .2 and one amp. And we're bubbling nice and good. Now if you are gonna do this, do it this way, I'm gonna give you a wider shot. There you go, now you can see it better. If you are gonna do it this way, just keep in mind when you pass electricity through salt water and it bubbles like this, the gas that's being given off, that's hydrogen gas. Um, that's how it's made uh, through salt water electrolysis. So make sure you're either doing this outside or in a very well ventilated area. I have a, a fan running. I just had to turn it off um, just so I could do this little recording. But I'm going to leave this sit and it's going to run for quite a while. I'm going to have to keep topping off the water. It's probably going to sit there for about an hour or two. But uh, we'll be back and we'll drain this all out and then we'll clean it up and see what we got. Another update. First one is I'm an idiot. I had the polarities wrong. Uh, the positive goes here and the negative goes there. So the electricity flows, flows this way and it burns the aluminum. Had a little bit of a leak here, so I put some excessive hot glue down here. Um, that just means I hopefully I won't have to repolish this. Uh, second thing, third thing I should say, is the salt water and the vinegar. And I'm sorry, the salt water. Um, I, I I got it all out. I soaked it all up in some paper towels because there was this yellow, mucky stuff. I'm not sure what it was. It could be because I had the polarity uh, switched around the first time, it was backwards, and it could be some something from the copper that was coming off. Or this is polished, I did, oh crap, we got another leak, that's new. This is polished, and I did clean it off with some alcohol, but maybe there was still something in the aluminum, and that came out of it. But uh, I, I soaked it all out, and then I realized I used all the salt I had. So I switched over to some uh, distilled white vinegar. And this is what we have now. We can actually see through it. Give me sure. But you can you can see the bubbling going coming out of the aluminum down there. Um, we're about doo -doo 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 half hour or so into it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna you know quickly take care of that leak, and then I'm gonna leave it run for another half an hour, and we'll come back to it. Okay, here's what we got. I got everything off, and I was very happy that the uh, the hot glue that I got all over the place just just came right off. So what I did is I put down some of this tape, and um, I'm going to go ahead and I, all I'm, I'm going to be doing is I have some, some regular dish soap and a scrubby thing. I'm going to clean off all the stuff that's on the surface, and I want to do that before I take off the vinyl, so that way I'm, I'm not scratching the, uh, the polished surface. I am going to have to go back over this with a... Just once real quick with a drill and a polishing pad just to clean it up. But I'm not going to have to go into it. So I'm just using some, just this is just regular dish detergent and a scrubby pad. You can hear, you hear the scratching sound? That means we got a pretty good etch. This is about two hours into the etch. Um, I periodically came and checked it and I saw that the water was getting, you know, black and murky. So I soaked it all out with some paper towels, and uh, it looked like it was pretty even. So, I mean, there might be uh, some weird, like, uh, line thing going this way. I'm probably, I, they did have to adjust the, uh, the copper wire a little bit because it wasn't etching here or here. So what I do is I just bent the copper wire, and I put it down, and it looked like it was very well um, etched here. So I bent the copper wire up here, and then down right along here because it looked like it wasn't etching very well here. So all I really did was just manipulate the copper wire once or twice into areas that didn't look like it was getting etched very well and away from areas that looked like it was pretty much done being etched. And that pretty much, um, you know, you're able to control 
how, where and how much you're etching because uh, you know it's a shorter it's a if you if you bend your copper wire closer to the aluminum in one spot then obviously that spot is going to be closer to ground and that's just the way that electricity works it's going to take the easiest path to path to ground so if you go and move your conductors closer to ground then obviously the electricity is going to flow better there yeah see so we have a little bit of a line coming through here but I think that that's going to even out when I come back over with the uh, the polishing pads I think it's going to uh, clean up a lot of this blackness so let me get them just let's go ahead and take this tape off and then we're going to get the uh, you know the vinyl off and we'll see what it looks like against the polished background now this part always kind of sucks because you got you know these little pieces here like this that'll break free when we're trying to tear it off it doesn't always come off in like you know one big clean piece you always have these little pieces so I'm always trying to oops it just broke right there so I'm always trying to like get it oh look at that that's kind of cool looking I like it so far oh well I don't want to jinx myself but it looks like I'm actually doing pretty good with this vinyl oh no we lost a piece uh -huh. this stuff never comes off as cleanly as it does as you see in other people's videos because they only they cut out all this part in the video and they just leave the part where it's like do -do 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 -do. you know they leave that part in there but the part like that it just snapped they always cut this part out uh. let's get a closer look that's actually not too bad I'm digging it it's very bright let me run some polish over this be right back Okay, it's all cleaned up. Not bad at all. You kind of see it. We still got that weird little color right there, but I'm actually okay with it. Overall, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but overall, I'm really satisfied with the way that this looks. It looks very industrial, very factory-like, like like, uh, like cyberdenish, you know, because I'm a corny Terminator fan. Um, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it actually it is. This was after two hours, and there is. There's a really nice lip on here. You can probably see it right in here. And if you see right here, it looks like we had a little bit of, um, like some of the tape must have, must have gotten underneath of the tape, and it actually etched here and here, as well as, where is it? There it is. Mm, this little line right here you can kind of see it but I actually kind of like that it makes it look a little bit more you know used so I'm actually very happy with this thing I can't wait to get this computer together if you like weird stuff like this you know going into computer builds uh, consider subscribing because I do weird stuff like this all the time I do polished aluminum I've done I've done all kinds of stuff. I do stuff with epoxy, metal casting. I just got a cool furnace, too. So there'll be some of that stuff coming up. But again, if you like it, subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment if you have any questions, and I will see you in the next one. Then out.